what I th thought we would do next here is just talk a little bit about the defenses against denial of service attacks. And uh, this actually comes from Charles Herring. He's uh, a consulting security analyst at Landcoop. The recommendations he makes here, five defenses against denial of service attacks. First of them on the list, he should talk about oversubscribing bandwidth. Now, I've actually talked with organizations, customers that have uh, attempted to do this as a mitigation strategy. We're going to see a little bit later where I don't think that's a real practical thing to do. But oversubscribing is an important part. Uh, this is a quote from Charles himself. There is no such thing as a perfect defense against denial of service attacks. So what you need to do is expect that some of the attack may leak through. That is, even if you're using a mitigation provider to scrub out the attack activity, they may get 99% of it out. But if you're looking at attack that's you know many gigabytes of of or gigabit, gigabits per second of traffic activity, you're going to need to be able to absorb a little bit. A little bit. So, uh, if you uh, the recommendation is don't you know establish your bandwidth based on a, say a 90% utilization uh, on the network for a service that you have offering uh, offered onto the internet. Second one, automated mitigation. Uh, we're gonna take a look at an example a little bit later to help support this as well. That is ultimately, you can't go in and look for the addresses they're doing attacks. It is typical that it will leave thousands of addresses and to be able to try to you know, transcribe and type in addresses into a blocking strategy and expect an access control list to be able to handle that is not a real practical approach to things. So uh, automation is necessary as a part of this activity as well. And that's just one example. Uh, sometimes you're not able to use addresses as a, as a uh, blocking strategy. Outsourcing to expert security firms. My interpretation is that is subscribe to a denial of service mitigation service provider. You know, ultimately that's going to help you quite a bit. Uh, restricting access to UDP and TCP sources. I think ultimately, if you don't need the port to get to your application, block it. I mean, oftentimes, in fact, particularly associated with reflective attacks that we talk about frequently here, you know, they're trying to toss UDP port 80 at applications that are really web servers. And that is TCP80 or TCP443. So it really does give you so, a, a leg up. And to work with your mitigation provider and say, you know what, these ports we don't need, block them right away. And then let's focus on uh, figuring out how to block the, uh, the bad you know, sources uh, associated with the actual attack activity if that comes to be. And then system strengthening. You know, I've seen a number of cases where attacks against organizations aren't necessarily trying to fill the bandwidth. They're just trying to, you know, exploit the application itself. And what I mean by that, uh, we've, uh, there's cases where if you have a search tool, a search tool tends to be a very database intensive activity, trying to search for a term or something like that. That's a method that's used in denial search attacks, a method that's used to basically try to throw search terms at a, uh, at a search uh, tool that's on a website. So what you might want to do is if you want to allow folks to do a search, maybe require them to authenticate, have a registered account, or uh, do some sort of capture or something like that to restrict it. So that's a, a couple of methods for system strengthening. So uh, I think the basic concept here, those five defenses, yeah, yes, I was going to mention in terms of system strengthening, another thing we've seen is if you have large PDF documents or other documents that are really large, sometimes mm -hmm. attackers will just keep trying to fetch those, trying to fetch those because yeah. that's going to create a lot of backhauled bandwidth that you're going to have to send back out right. again. Um, so it's almost like you're impacting yourself. So perhaps rate limiting on retrieval of particular documents right. or perhaps um, uh, make a, a frequency count like we do with password guessing. You only allow a few password guesses before you lock out that yeah. account. Yeah. You might want to do that for a particular source. If they've downloaded it 10 times already, you, you'd think they you know, got it already. Right? 